it's, behind me is a Buick LaCrosse. It's really an underrated car. It's an all-wheel drive car, and it's got really high build quality. For the first time in God knows how many years, Buick won the number one position on the J.D. Powers Quality Assessment. That means that Buick was better than Mercedes, Buick was better than Lexus, Buick was ready better than any of the other cars that you may think of. So while it's not sure whether Buick will be in business a month from now or a year from now, uh, rumor has it that it's being uh, purchased by a Japanese, not actually a Chinese company because Buick is the number one selling brand in China. Um, if you're interested in a car that perhaps has great build quality, all-wheel drive, and is underrated, this may be the car for you. This behind me is a new Honda Insight Hybrid. As you recall, the very first Insight Hybrid was kind of a car that looked like out of Woody Allen's sleeper movie. It was kind of a cockroach, sad too. Uh, it wasn't very popular when the gas prices went through the roof. You couldn't buy those because they were so popular. Anyway, the new Insight spinning behind me is Honda's second attempt at making a Prius fighter. Uh, the car is priced in the $20,000 range, four-seater. Uh, gets low 40s, perhaps high 40s if you really push it in terms of gas money. We'll be able to beat the Prius in terms of sales. Hard to tell. The Prius has become an iconic car, whereas Honda's back at it in the second attempt. Behind me is Ford's new Taurus. If you look at the car, it looks nothing like the old oval Taurus where everything was round. You know, it became kind of a classic family truck. Well, the new car is very European. Before the show started, I had a chance to sit in the car, and I have to tell you, I was impressed. A lot of fine features, a lot of quality materials. Uh, this particular car is the SHO version, which has uh, 300 horsepower, so it's an awesome get up and go. The other nice thing about the car is when you sit in it, uh, there's really interesting touches, like it has paddle shifters, and the back of the paddle shifters actually have a little neon material so your fingers don't slip off the paddle shifters. Personally, I'm not a big fan of paddle shifters, but if you're going to put them in the car, you better do it right. Ford did it right. Uh, Ford Taurus, coming to a dealership near you. One of the best cars at the auto show this year has to be the Hyundai Genesis. This car won the uh, Best Car Award at the Detroit Auto Show earlier this year. It's got 300 horsepower. It's priced in the $30,000 range. It's got build quality that is equal to any Japanese brand, perhaps even Lexus quality. Uh, it's a super, super new car with uh, interesting styling, as you can probably see as it's coming around. And the automotive press just love this car. Uh, if you're looking for a four-door sedan with the build quality of a Japanese car but priced at a Korean brand, this may be the car for you. Another new car here at the Demorado Show uh, that's being introduced is a new CTS wagon. This is one of Cadillac's most popular cars. Not the CTS wagon, of course, because it's not out yet, but the CTS in general. Um, the original car, the CTS, and of course the souped-up one, the CTS V, which is right over there, uh, is known because it was tuned and raced in Nuremberg in Germany uh, at the Nuremberg Ring, which is where the Formula One cars race. Uh, it's very well known for tons of torque, for tons of power. And if you want the family version of it, it's right behind me. It's one of the cars that you like. Uh, Cadillac is probably one of the parts of uh, General Motors, it's, of course we can't tell right now, that will survive. Uh, that along with Chevy are probably the two most profitable portions of the company and so uh, I think buying a Cadillac is a, probably a wise investment if you're a Cadillac type. Yeah.